Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review and World of Tanks gameplay. Today we have for you Buffalo Kolsch by the Flying Bison Brewing Company out of New York. This is a 5.4% ABV Kolsch style German ale. This is the aroma we get fresh grass, a hint of lemon, and a slight smell of cream corn. Our appearance is a clear pale gold with soft white head. Our flavor, we're talking bread with lemon and a pleasant earthy bitterness. Our mouthfeel is a smooth light body with slight prickly carbonation. Overall, this beer looks a lot like a Bud Miller or Coors variety, but has a lot more flavor while still being um, not overpowering. Having never had an actual German Kolsch, uh, this seems to fall well within the style, uh, and regardless of whether it is to style or not, this is a really good, uh, refreshing summertime beer. I would definitely drink this again. By the way, sorry I didn't get this put out last night. Um, you know, got sidetracked with some stuff that I would rather have been doing. So you guys come second fiddle to my family. Sorry. Uh, that's just the way life is. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay though. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, we've got an STA2 game for you today on Ensk. Yeah, I bought this uh, premium tank a while ago. Everyone said it was pretty good. It's got good gun depression, decent gun handling, and, you know, nice high penetration for its tier, plus the heat of shells are ridiculous at 275 pen. Here we are today, low tier in a two-tier matchup, tier 8, tier 9. I'm trying to push across the side. I spot this 1390, and I think better of it. Think maybe I can get a shot into him, but nope, he's behind a building. Pull back because I don't want to get shot. Just take a take a cursory shot there into the middle and see what I can do. Our t uh, their 295 is spotted. We've got a whole bunch of guys just kind of camping base back here, and I'm probably going to do the same thing because I'm low tier. I don't want to get shot twice by that t t95 and dead. So. I'm going to see if I can maybe run over here and help a little bit in the city. See if I can get a shot into that Lerva or the KV-4 uh, without getting wrecked too bad. Our Emil is taking a, a beating though already. No shots, no shots. And he's in good cover, so no shots. Well, that's no fun. And we're playing it kind of slow right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, pull forward. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. No? Oh. But it looks like the Lerva bounced off the front of our Martian, or maybe, no, maybe damaged him. I can't get any shots in over there. The M103, they're already pushing up pretty hard in the field with the Lerva, and the M103 is really far up. And I'm trying to see if the 1390 is maybe going to cross and the Lerva is going to push over, but I'm just trying to stay mobile and not do anything silly. We're going to push out here. Oh, there's the T95. Fortunately, he's not aimed at me. I bounced off the front of him. I was trying to track him maybe get, get our artillery to actually shoot at him, but our artillery either has other other targets at the moment or something, I don't know. Now, our T-69 is backing into me because, you know, why pay attention to what's behind you on the map when you're trying to move, right? Sometimes it's hard, I know, but I don't think he was even zoomed in. 1390, no shots there. Oh, T-95 still there. Nope, not even going to try it. Thankful he did not fire. I don't know if he just fired or something. Oh, T95's moving to the side, so hopefully he'll give me a side so I can put one in him. Nope, nope. Oh, man, he just... All right, no luck on that. He did fire there. I'm going to see if I can shoot him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 1390 needed it. Yeah, we don't like the 1390. That little guy, he's got all the spotting. Come on, come on. And where did that shot go? I think that, uh, that was a little insane. But he's gone now. No shots on him, so that's bad. We're just going to play it patient. WZ-132 is having his own problems with the M103. I don't even notice that FV-4202. Look at me. Look at me. Just being a moron. Hey, wait. And there we go. Taking one in the pooper because of it. Oh, but one of our buddies was noticing, and we shot him at the same time. Myself and the T-54E1. Um, I don't know who got that kill. I think he did, because I only have 264 hit points worth of damage. And no one by my name, so I'm gonna run this way, trying to see if I can counter this M103. Oh, here we go. Shot in the side, trying to pull back, and snapshot. Gotta love that snapshot bull crap. And that M103. Okay, he's hiding. He thinks he's hiding. <laughs> and I get a low, low roll and get shot in the back by the Lerva. Gonna. Oh yeah, yeah.
Yeah, definitely going to take advantage of that. They're focusing the Scorpion G because he's closer to dead. And I only tracked him. I was aiming at the inside of his... Oh, whatever. You know what? That's all right. Pull him back. Trying not to get messed up. We're dealing with this cap here. I've only got 900 damage. Oh, going to see if I can shoot him. Come on. There we go. And he snapshots me again. What is this baloney? This is ridiculous. Now he's a two-shot for me, but I'm a one-shot for him. I really don't want to play that pop-out-and-mess-around game. So I'm going to pull back in here and try not to be too predictable, but there's a there's two on cap right now. There's the Lerva, and oh, Lerva's looking at me. I shoot him, I tracked him, and damaged him, but he hit me as well, and now I'm on 42 hit points. Awesome. Not really where I want to be, so I'm going to pull back a little further and let these other guys start taking some of these hits. I have done some good job resetting. Let's see. Nope. T-541 getting in my way, and he moves up. Wait. I'm going to... And he backs up into me, so he's blocking me like a genius. I don't know how to do this. I don't... Man, driving me crazy. All right, so Lerva, back to me. Shoot him in the back of the turret. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you just keep looking at that WZ. Yeah, please. And there's a fire. He had an automatic fire extinguisher. I hope you enjoyed that uh, 20,000 credits that was automatically removed. And now 13 hit points. And, of course, now the T-54E1 is going to block me again and steal the kill. I should have shot him in the back of the turret. I really thought about it, but I decided not to because I'm not a jerk. So I don't want to end up on a uh, on an episode of Klaus Kellerman's, you know, B-holes of World of Tanks. So I'm going to deal with this T-32, hopefully, before... Nope, VK is dead. I was trying to save him. Oh, well. There we go. One good shot inside of the T-32. Going to pull back in. He sh he's probably reloaded, but... He's also not very good. <laughs> so, reaction times, right? And now I know that Super Pershing's got to be coming for me. So, I'm going to back up and use this other lane to get out of the way. Hopefully not get myself shot in the back by that Super Pershing. Fortunately, I am significantly quicker than he is. And our Maushin has moved up to counter the Super Pershing. So, here he is. He's We've set a trap for him. He's following me. Boom. I'm moving over this way to try it. Here we go. There's a shot. I shouldn't have backed up. I should have kept going straight because then I would have had the building in between us. But I'm dead. But our Maushin is still alive. We've got our T-54E1 and our WZ-132. And I'm watching the WZ because the Maushin should have no problem with that. And look at this. He bounces out and bounces one off the T-95 who ignores him because he knows the T-54E1 has an autoloader and will be shooting him in a second. There we go. A nice shot. Tracking shot. T-54 is a one shot for that T-95, but apparently he's not smart enough to flank. I'm trying to tell him, hey, T-54E1, don't go in front. Pay attention. Maybe if you go around the side because he's tracked and he can't move, but apparently he wants to deal with the frontal armor of a T-95, and he's going to try to bait a shot from this guy. T-95 is the last guy left. Maushin took care of the Super Pershing, and apparently took care of also uh, what I believe was the other Lerva. There's the, there's the bait. He baited it out. And, of course, he's going to bounce. But being the kill-stealing turd that he is, he got the kill. So, good game, though. Let's check out the stats. Here we go. So that was a first class mastery badge. It wasn't an ace, but it was real, really a decent, uh, a decent game, especially considering almost everybody on the enemy. Well, not almost everybody. Most of the guys that I actually went up against on the enemy team were tier nine. There were a couple of tier eights that I that I fought against actively, but you know, and one that allowed me to farm him like a son of a gun. But decent, decent bit of work done. So look at this. Third on damage done. Third. Oh, wait, nope, second on XP earned, so not too bad, not too bad at all. 20 shots fired, 17 hit, only 13 penetrated. I was shooting at some toughly armored targets, especially the, the T-95, uh, the M103. Uh, those are pretty good armor, and, uh, you know, surprisingly, the Lerva just gave me freebies, so that's what I took. Um, 
Only 286 assistance damage, six damaged, one destroyed. So a lot of good work done. And playing these premium tanks, you know, you got that extra extra bonus on the credits and the XP. So 31,000 credits uh, that I made in profit, and almost 3,400 XP earned with the XP bonus and all that happy stuff. Kind of makes me wish I had been running a premium uh, account because, man, it would have been 5K, uh, 5K credits earned and almost 60,000 credits of, uh, or 5K XP earned, excuse me, and almost 60,000 credits of, of, uh, of profit there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was, it was a little bit slow at first, but, uh, it, it, worked its way up and especially at the end there when I was only playing on 40 some odd hit points I can't believe how much damage I did after being a one shot for every single person on the enemy team it was kind of funny so it, like I said hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time